Hello guys, today let's create a material similar to burst and explosion. Okay, first let's create a material. Of course, we need translucent and lead and to set it. Then we add a texture sample. Here we use a smoke texture. Also, we need a desired effect to the texture. Okay, add a text card, panel and texture sample. We need a noise texture. Also provide by the engine. And panel speed. We need a speed in direction Y. Just one. It's okay. Then we need to change texture styling. U tiling is two. Okay. And we also need a power to control the range of its value. Finally, we need a lerp. A is 0.1 and B is 0.8. Yes, now we can add another noise texture to blend it. This will make the desired effect look better. Okay, copy this node. This time we can use a normal texture of water. Of course, the texture also provided by the engine. And speed needs to be a little different. Maybe 0.1. Okay, and tiling also needs to be changed. U tiling, we set it to 4. Okay, then we need to mask the normal texture. We just use R and G channel and multiply it by the noise texture. Okay, now we add it to smoke texture. Let's preview it. Yes, we can see the desired effect. We also need speed for the smoke. This time we can set the speed Y is 0.5. Yeah, it looks better. And the tiling may be 3 and 2. Okay. Then we still need a power to make the black area a little brighter. So we set the exponent to 0.5. Yes, we can see it change. And add a 1 minus. Multiplied by a mask. All we need is a mask in the G channel. Yeah, it's very simple. Finally, we need multiplied by a finale. Use finale, we can make its edge transition look smoother. Okay, we need a lerp to control the finale's exponent. Alpha, we can connect it to 1 minus, and A is 0.5, B is 2. Okay, this reflect fraction, we can set it to 0, and add 1 minus. Let's preview it. Well, the edge transition, it doesn't seem obvious, so we need a power. And the exponent, we set it to 5. Okay. Multiplied by the mask. This is our opacity. We just need multiplied by the particle color's alpha. And the depth fade. Finally, connect it to opacity. Its emissive color is also very simple. We just need a drive HDR from LDR. The LDR input is the opacity. HDR tint is opacity multiplied by the particle color. Finally, connect it to emissive color. Okay, now let's add a reflection effect. In the details, let's search reflection and select index of reflection. It's normal, we can use the normal of water. And the reflection, we also just use opacity. Add a lerp. A is 1, B is 1.2. Finally, we need a word position of sight. It's also very simple, we just need a noise texture. And the panel, speed Y is 1. 
multiplied by the vertex normal word space. And with the position of site scale, we can set it to 100. Connect it to word position of site. Okay, we finished the material. Now let's create a Niagara system. First, add a spawn burst in emitter update. And render, we need a mesh render. Use a sphere. Basic shape. Material, use we created burst material. Yeah, we can see the effect. Then we need to change its lifetime, maybe 0 0.3. And color, we can use a blue color. 0 0.2, 1, and 100. Let's see. Oh yes, we forgot to change Niagara system's loop duration. System's loop duration, we can set it to 1. And mesh size, we can set it to 5. Make it bigger. Okay. In particle update, we need a scale. Scale color and scale mesh size. First, let's add scale color. Scale RGB, we can use vector from float and the curve to control it. The curve, we can use 0 to 1 to 0. And scale curve, we can set it to 100. Scale alpha is same, 0 to 1 to 0. But this time, scale curve is 1. Maybe 5. Okay. Now, let's add scale mesh size. Also, we use vector from float and the curve. This time, the curve is 0 to 1. Okay, save the Niagara system. Let's check it in the level. Okay, it looks good. We can make it a little bigger. Set mesh size to 10. Okay. And we can also change its color. Maybe red. Or we can use the user parameters to control its color. Default, we can use a blue. And this time, we can change its color in the level. Let's copy a Negra system and change its color. Yes, we can see the color is changed. Let's delete the beam. And we can also make the color brighter. Set alpha to 5 or 10. Okay, we can see there are some changes around it. Let's change its color to red or pink. Yeah, I like this effect. It looks great. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.